and welcome everybody over here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Citadel action. So the reason why I want to play this deck, I wanted to bring this back because with M20, even though it doesn't look like we really have M20 cards here in the main deck, <laughs> Hawkeye's in the way, um, the card that I'm really excited about <clears throat> in this deck is actually Temple of Malady, um, or if you want, Temple of Malady. I feel like <clears throat> having a land that scries could be really nice whenever we're uh, playing a bunch of cards off the top with our citadels. And so wanted to try this deck out again with Temple of Malady. Um, the one, one slot that I'm not really so sure about is Bond of Flourishing or Seeker Squire. I really like Bond of Flourishing. I think this is a really underrated card, uh, particularly in this archetype. The, how it gets to you know gain three life it gets to dig helps you find your citadel helps you hit your land drops if you need them i'm only playing 24 lands because we have the elves we have the explorer creatures and we have the bond of flourishing so it helps us hit land drops um can help us find like our path of discovery or doom whisper some more impactful cards there i really like this card with that being said i really like seeker squire also i really like having 12 explore creatures in this specific deck to go along with the wild growth walkers so it's tough. I, I think you only have room for one of them. I'm going to go with Bond of Flourishing here, but I like them both quite a bit. Uh, Doom Whisper, of course, is just perfect for this deck because whenever whenever you have Citadel out, uh, you can just pay two life, surveil over the top cards of your library if they're not cards that you want to be casting with the Citadel, and you get to just kind of keep on going for a really long time there. And, of course, we have a whole lot of good stuff in our sideboard. Um M20 did add some good uh, cyborg cards in both green and black. Veil of Summer is awesome. Legion's End, Noxious Grasp, very good. Um, so we have some some good other cyborg options. So let's give this a try. We're going to go ahead and play this over in Ranked. I think this is a pretty strong deck. I want to play it over there. Um, we're only going to play three matches today, though, instead of the normal five. Uh, because we're... Our other leagues uh, kind of took a little while, especially the Orzhov Sacrifice one. But other leagues kind of took a little while, and we... Um, usually I'd be streaming for about 45 more minutes, but you know, we'll, we'll play three matches. So we're going to try to win two out of three. I don't think we really need a Gaia's Blessing. Like, Gaia's Blessing is only... It's only good if you surveil it over with Doom Whisper. If you ever draw Gaia's Blessing, it's not really a card that you want to draw... But yeah, surveilling it over with Doom Whisperer is nice to shuffle up again. But I don't think that it's... I don't think that that is good and I don't think that that's strong enough to put it into the deck for all the times that it's like sitting in your opening hand where you just already mulliganed. I am going to be a field of ruining next turn. This looks like Grixis control. I guess Watery Grave's better. But reducing their black sources. Obviously, they're going to just go grab a swamp, but still trying to make it harder to play Nicol Bolas. All right, Radical Guru, have a good night. And I wasn't referring to that Nickel Bolas, of course. I 
Okay. It's a pretty good one. I was really, really hoping to get another land here with the Jade Light Ranger. Because I want to play land Bond of Flourishing, but then I have to discard whatever I grab off Bond of Flourishing if I do that. I was really hoping to get another land. Darn. Well, should have just discard a bond of flourishing. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Defiance has consequence. Well, that didn't work out. All right, cast down's out of here. Well, find is, you know, draw two creatures. I'm still going to cut it because we have, we have good enough top end without it. Maybe I'll put one back in. I think we can cut land war elf here. That's a good duress in here. Yeah, duress is also just great. Do we really need three Contempt, three Trophy? Probably not. Should I cut a Contempt or a Trophy? I'll cut a Trophy. Uh, I guess Trophy does put stuff in the graveyard for Command the Red Horde, which is nice. I'm just going to cut one of each, actually. Yeah, there could just be a split of Squire and Bond. Yeah, I could certainly see playing just a, a split of Squire and Bond. That game... How, how that game played out, I didn't play it optimally. How that game played out, I wish I was just jamming the explore like the explore creatures as fast as possible. You know, not like discarding branch walker, all that kind of stuff. Ended up playing that one not too well. I was too enamored with both Field of Ruin and and Bond of Flourishing. have to do a little bit of work for that. So next turn I got like Field of Ruin plus Branch Walker. I guess just Field of Ruin. Like they they need like a sweeper here anyway. Yeah.
Land. All right, here we go. Um, destroy that thing. Darn. Do 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 I didn't it just it just cast itself Wild I was just gonna click the stuff first and then go back and check Not so much. and then go back and count it just cast it I didn't say I was done it just automatically cast the card If you just pick everything, it just it just casts it automatically? How was I supposed to know that? How is that like intuitive at all? Why why would that even be a thing? What? Why? How is that even designed that way? That is insane. It's just. Oh, did you? You chose stuff. That means you're obviously done with this card. It's it's automatically cast. What is going on? So that's why, is that why I've had like more people than I, than I would expect that have killed themselves with Command the Dread Horde that I played against? That must be it. They've just like clicked some, clicked some things and then we're going to go back and check or something. No, I didn't double click any. I just I clicked each one and then it just automatically cast the card. So I'm going to be keeping the finality and I'm going to be keeping this for finality because of Field of the Dread and everything. Darn it, that's the card that I want, but we don't have we don't have like black mana like at all. Can I graveyard it and look for another one? <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll take it. Jeez. We need two more black sources. We got our draw step, then branch walker will look at two cards cuz you know, you know this is now branch or branch walker is now jade light ranger. No, we need black mana. Obviously, it's just all forests. Why not? Hey, original Q.
<laughs> Thanks, yeah, the Orzov League was really good. That was a really good league. They're, I'm guessing they're playing like 27 lands. That'd be my guess. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight lands there. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Eighteen, so they probably have like nine lands left. But I guess every land makes gets them four two twos though. All right, good black mana. Come on, black man off the top. Are you kidding me? Our fourth citadel? The fourth citadel. Does nothing go right? Nothing's going right. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. If we get really lucky, we could we could win. If we get really lucky with Citadel. Doesn't seem like we need like the one for one removal spells here. So we're gonna take them all out. Oh, Legion's End. Yeah, no, I should definitely be playing the two Legion's Ends. Hopefully we can get there. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about trophy destroying the field of ruin. Or like the field of whatever. Whatever that field thing is called. That would be nice. Okay, well I just sideboarded terribly. That's great. Just been on like... Just such a bad run here the last few games. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, y'all. Really use like Jade Light Ranger, something to help us hit land drops. That's not the worst. Yep, tomorrow will be another day. No land. Darn. So this is a land and we do need land, but it's not black mana. So I'm going to ditch it. Because really what we need is we need another black source, which is the harder thing to find. Sorry to hear that, Larry. I'm known for my excellent timing. Man, if we still had that Path of Discovery in play. I We're doing it, though. To lose to you. We are doing it. We want to see our other Doom Whisperer, ideally. They're dead next turn if they don't kill us. If they don't interact with us, I guess. Really more... If they don't interact with us, we're going to kill them next turn. No land drop. Interesting. So they have all five. All five cards are spells. Uh, Rickone is called Deckmaster, is the name of the program or extension, I guess. Oh, 
All right. Got it. If they kept four mana open for escape shift, it still it wouldn't matter. Like, cause we were gonna be able to just kill them with with Bola Citadel. So like that, I wasn't worried about escape shift. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really, uh, really convenient being able to go through everything, see what. All right, we're gonna, we'll get rid of the command. What else am I supposed to be cutting? I guess, I guess Land War Elf if I'm going Cry the Carnarium and Finality. No, maybe not. Maybe it's Bond of Flourishing. This exiles all their zombies. Like whenever they put like 30 zombies into play with Scape Shift, we just exile them all. Um, I don't know. This <clears throat> this may certainly be be wrong cutting land or elf to be honest. That's weird. What is going on here? This something like this happened earlier also. Oh, it's it's a hydroid crisis bug cuz my opponent conceded when Hydro Crisis? Okay, now it's it's gone now. Good, they got a slower hand too. So we'll have Duress on four, Doom Whisper on five, Citadel on six. I am gonna be playing Field of Ruin here, so it can maybe Field of Ruin also after the Duress. Depending on what they do here. Okay, they scry to the bottom. If they scry to the top, I would have had a interesting choice Double Dovin's Veto. Hmm. That's a difficult hand. So the two Vetoes have the two Citadels checked. The Prison Realm has the Doom Whisperer checked. I guess I need to take the Prison Realm. And then maybe Doom Whisperer can find us like more duresses. So they're gonna bounce my thing or bounce their thing? Longer. Stand by and watch. Bouncing their thing. That's more like it. Alright, I'll save. It's only a matter of time. So 
Save the field to ruin. So what happens if they scape shift and get a whole bunch of lands and you know trigger the the field of dreams? I should probably figure out what that card's name is. Oh, whoops! I didn't I didn't do the Doom Whisper thing. I was busy talking. Well, that was my bad. And so like. What happens if they, they trigger that, but then I feel the ruins and get rid of their land? Yeah, the, the field of zombies. Definitely should have surveilled with Doom Whisper there and found something. That was certainly a mistake. Like, because the triggers are already on the stack, they should all resolve still, right? And they should still get all of their 2-2 two -two zombies. That would be my assumption. Or will it fail if they don't have any more zombie lands? Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna find out. Let's just see what happens here. See if they get a zombie or not. Yeah, they still get it. So I thought would happen. Bond of Flourishing seems like a good one to have on top here to start the chain with. Um, we obviously need to find Wild Growth Walker. That's a good one. There's Wild Growth Walker. One scape shift down. Get rid of lands. Explore creature. Kill Krasis. Kill T2 thing. I doubt they have another basic planes. I don't think they'd have another basic island though either. Uh, sure. This thing gains a life. Where are these explore creatures at? There we go. There's one. Yay! <clears throat> then we're gonna be able to J-Light again. So yeah, we were gonna be able to attack them down to two there with the Doom Whisper and 
the Jade Light Ranger, and then we were going to be able to activate the... Like, we were going to get to... Uh, let's see, that was already three, six, seven. This is about to be number eight. All we needed were two more non-land permanents to activate the Citadel. Jam Oil with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support there, Jam. All right, one and one. We're going to play one more match here to break the tie. And honestly, our loss was kind of bogus. We only lost because of the templating of the game. Because I I clicked all of the creatures with Command the Dread Horde, not realizing that it would just automatically just cast Command the Dread Horde, even though I didn't tell it to. I hadn't counted quite yet, and it was one one damage of killing us. So that was silly. Turn to Risen Reef. I mean, if I Assassin's Trophy Risen Reef, aren't they just like really happy about that? If I just do that right now? Alright, so we got plenty of lands, and now we can use Bond of Flourishing to look for Doom Whisper and Bolus of Citadel. I will protect the virtue of this world. Hey contraband. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my fool. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? The land fights for us. them just keep getting lands. Hey, at least I tried. So we got a top deck and untapped land to be able to Finality. Because I had to play the swamp here because of this field of ruin. So that's unfortunate. I didn't get to play the temple.
Indeed, magnificent world. Okay, well. Risen Reef's still good. We're going to have to be a lot faster than when we just were there. A whole lot faster. All right, we're going to cut fine finality. Yeah, I like Noxious Grass over Trophy. I don't want it to have like just a ton of interaction, to be honest. Instead of the Fine Finality, I'm going to play a Cast Down and the Command the Dread Horde. I don't... I don't want to play too much stuff like I don't think this is like a matchup where I want to be a control deck because they just outgrind control deck so I don't want to try to just have like a, a deck filled with removal I want to try to ramp into citadel like that's that's my goal is ramp into citadel which I guess that's what we're doing here Okay, Landwerf is good for us. That was a good turn. Boo. That's such a good card when you land. The decks always have so many Risen Reefs. Maybe they have no lands. Nope. At least no Leaf Kin Druid. That's good. I would have much, much rather them counter a Bola Citadel. I kind of think that the, playing the four citadel may be overkill, <laughs> but yeah, we have been draw. Yeah, we have been drawing so many early citadels. <laughs> no it's problem. like we have like our one and like. <laughs> actually, this hand that I kept didn't have any. It's like just three of our five draw steps were just citadels, right? Like we didn't actually have any, right? In our opener. Seek 
shelter in my stewardship. Yeah, we drew like one turn two, and then the other, like, it was like turn two, turn three, and turn five, or maybe turn two, turn four, turn five. It was just Citadel, Citadel, Citadel. I don't... I don't hate the idea of playing four mana Karn with Citadel. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? The Karn that grabs artifacts. Sorry. The, the, so we can have a Citadel in the sideboard. And get it with Karn. I think if you're playing... If you want to play this deck best of one... I think like this... Honestly, I think this is probably a pretty good best of one deck. The land shall with four mana Karn in the main deck. And an artifact sideboard and stuff. You can have just Citadel in the sideboard. Okay, well, we went one and two. Our opponent's deck did very well. They hit all their land drops. Had turn one land war, turn two land war, turn three risen reef, turn four risen reef. And then planeswalkers and counter spells. After that. Ugh. So not the best showing for our deck. A um, few things. Bond of Flourishing was... It was not very impressive, I'd have to say. Um, it wasn't great. I Maybe Squire would just be better there. Um, I, think, I think probably just want to go with three Citadel, not four. But... Tough tough three games for us i mean really it was like the first the first match i mean honestly we we really should have been two and one there i think i think against grixis we're gonna win almost all the time like i wasn't i was not worried about losing that match against grixis i just messed up that command the dread horde i didn't know how the how the game worked like that how it automatically cast your your card and if you select everything it didn't let you hit okay or anything like that so i didn't know how the game was programmed and that's the only reason why we lost that first match but i think that was game two, which we should have won. And then, so then we would have gone to a game three. And I think we were a pretty heavy favorite to win game three. But, oh well. So that still would have been a, a two one. Uh, but yeah, that, that round, that last round, um, you know, Team or Elementals, their deck went crazy with Risen Reefs both games. And we just weren't really in it. I think we would have been in it if we would have, you know, drawn our sixth land immediately for Citadel. Uh, they would have countered the first Citadel there, like how we played the Vivian, but then we would have been able to play a Citadel the next turn and so on. Oh, well. So that's Golgari Citadel, a 1-2. Um, but basic, you know, could have easily been a 2-1 if I knew how the game was programmed there. Uh, 
didn't get to really see Temple of Malady coming into play off of Citadel to keep setting us up. Didn't get to see that, but that's all right. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Golgari Citadel here, and I will see you for the next video.